Hey, can you handle liquid arrogance? Hey, oh, hey, hey, hey! Who goes there? Much appreciated. Welcome to Bruce's back. Welcome to Brews with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? I'm so great. Uh, it's a Saturday. It is time to party. Um, we've got this one from Arrogant Consortia. It is basically Stone Brewing out of Escondido. Uh, I'm sure you guys may have had this. Maybe not. I can't remember whether I had. Um, this is Double, ba Double Bastard Ale. Um, originally, uh, Arrogant Bastard was invented in 1997. and the one-year anniversary, they came out with this bad boy. Uh... Like it, like it says, originally brewed to celebrate the one-year anniversary of Arrogant Bastard, a Double Bastard debuted in 98, amped-up version of already aggressive beer, huge malt bill, unreasonable amount of hops that make this one appreciated by only a couple. Probably this guy. Uh, and that's just fine with us. We didn't brew a dark amber monster to please anyone other than ourselves. <laughs> I'm going to love it. Uh, this is 10.5 on the Richter. Tap in. Uh, yeah, much more than the uh, the OG. Um, they say the hops are classified, the IBUs classified. Allegedly, 100, 100 plus IBU on this. Uh, 58,000 people have given this about a 3.9 on untapped. I will see what I think. Found this in my little cool Trader Joe's. There was literally only one can left, so props. Trader Joe's Studio City for having this uh, still. I'm sure you've had it. It's a Saturday. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know if you've had this. And uh, let's go. Let's go. All right. All I ask, please hammer the hell out of that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That way we can sit down with cold drinks anytime you want. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Man, poured that perfectly. Getting all the gas, the carbonation out. Double bastard. Double bastard. Which one do you like, the red or the black? I'll go with black for now. Uh, we are talking almost four fingers of head. So I'm going to give it some time to uh, chill out there for a second. And uh, three, two, one. All right, bam! That is ready to drink. Uh, looking forward to this one. So far of the uh, Arrogant Consortia, uh, I think this one rates almost the highest of kind of the regular. I mean, this is the third most popular. So Escondido Stone Arrogant Consortia. Uh, let's get a sniff on this uh, even more amped up Arrogant Bastard. Double Bastard. Definitely a sweet slash almost puckering malt. Almost like like a bitter cherry, if you will. But definitely getting the malt, multi bitter cherry. All right, big arrogant hops. Let's go. Here's to a Saturday. No words, just emotions. Like and subscribe. Double bastard, this sucker. Ooh, that is meant for a guy like me. Just. Big in your face, uh, biscuity, subtle caramel malt with some uh, pretty big uh, bitter hops. Like I said, almost like a almost a cherrying effect on that. I did already kind of look it up while I was waiting for this thing to mellow out because it took a second. Uh, it was almost like pouring a perfect pilsner. <laughs> uh, one person said it uh, with their review. The pour is auburn colored, uh, taste is bitter, peppery, caramel, hints of grapefruit, pineapple, orange, mango, then along with some er earthy herbal notes. The 10.5 drinks like eight. Overall, this was a good take on the original Arrogant Bastard. Cheers, A minus. Now there was one that went, said they went way too far and uh, did, not, did not love it, rated it a lot lower. So far, Danny B. Likey. Um, I like when beers push me, so just like my hot sauce. All right, but like I said, this is not for everyone. Very, almost sour, bitter—not like sour, but very big, 
big piney citrus bitter like a, an old school big IPA with that big kind of uh, malt backbone put in there. Like kind of like the original Arrogant Bastard. There you go. Mouthfeel on this one. It's not like it's a crazy big mouthfeel, but it, I'd, I'd say it's at least uh, 50. Uh, let's give it 60 out of 100 on the mouthfeel. And uh, does it feel like 10.5? I'm gonna keep bringing this thing. How was your Saturday? How the hell are you? All right, have you have you drinking this? What are you drinking right now? Again, this one is 10.5. Original Arrogant Bastard is 7.2, and the Bourbon Barrel Aged Arrogant Bastard is only 8.1. So this is actually the big bad boy. This one rate again rates the highest of all of those. Just give it to my wife. She uh, finds it absolutely disgusting. So but that's why I'm here to. Uh, love just stuff that just sticks me in the face with hops and malt so cheers to you on a saturday um just big malt big bitter hops piney big big citrus but this is what i like if you want challenge in a beer go to this if you don't stick to your lagers stick to your pilsners i like those but i'll take this every other day just look well, Love challenges in life. Um, by the way, the, the UFC tonight is UFC 305, which includes, if y'all know UFC, Israel. I can't even say his last name. I always just know he's Israel in the middleweight division as the main event versus uh, DDP. 21-2. Uh, I'm just going to call him DDP. It's easier to say it that way. And the co-main is a flyweight event, uh, Cal versus Steve. Just going to say it that way. Don't try to do all everyone names because I haven't. I don't know them back when I knew Tito and T and Chuck uh, and Randy Couture. So it is what it is. But I do know Israel. Uh, guys, phenomenal. So check the UFC card tonight. Bronx is playing tomorrow. Five NFL games uh, today. So check that out. Cheers to you. Uh, you know what? Because I'm a man. Are you? Are you up for it? Are you man? Are you woman? Are you just daring to try this? Let's. Let's cheers, and let's finish the double bastard on the Saturday. Boom! Like a man, son. That's a beer. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um, I love it. That's big malt, citrus, and, and some nice bitter hops. I'm a fan. Let's turn around to that side. All right, stone brewing. Okay, but so this is this is my rating. Remember, this is my rating. If you're not for, if you're the faint of heart, as they said, don't don't be a fan of this. We don't want you. But for me, stone down to hell no. And already told you, it's not stone. I'm not going that far. And I'm not even going solid, but I'm going. That is absolutely decent. Uh, it's a 93 and a half, almost a solid. I do like it. I like the challenge of it. It's not amazing, but I do like the challenge of just in your face. Um, that's just me. So most of you, a lot of you might rate this a hell no. I don't know, but I rate this a decent. And uh, for you big beer drinkers that like challenges, uh, I would think you'd see the same. Big malt, big hops. Not apologizing. So, anyway, hopefully your day is well. We almost got football back. Uh, people are bothering me to start back up the league. You know who you are. You know who you are. Uh, please do me a favor. Let me know what your favorite beer or and what you're drinking on here right now, this moment. Like and subscribe. Please, takes you one second. Like and subscribe. Helps me out greatly. Much appreciated. And I'll see you all out there. Peace, UFC tonight.